Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to our channel, The Eaton Squad. My name is Addie. So for today's video is the new testing and quarantine protocols to all arriving passengers in the Philippines coming from the green list starting November 22 of 2021. Details coming right up. So yesterday we have uploaded a video on the new protocols for the new testing and quarantine to all arriving passengers coming from the yellow list. So for this video, this is the new testing and quarantine protocols to all arriving passengers, permitted travelers to the Philippines coming from the green list. So if we compare the new testing and quarantine protocols of permitted travelers coming from the green list from the previous testing and quarantine protocols, there's really not much changes on it. But there are additions that the IATF has added for this new implementation. And I will let you guys know about it. So for permitted travelers to the Philippines, here are your new testing and quarantine protocols. That will start tomorrow, November 22 of 2021. For those coming from countries, territories, or jurisdictions under the green list, for fully vaccinated Filipinos, option number one, a facility-based quarantine with on-arrival RT-PCR testing until the release of their negative results, after which the individual is enjoined to self-monitor until the 14th day of their arrival with the date of arrival being the first day. Your second option is if with a negative test taken within 72 hours prior to the departure from the country of origin. No facility-based quarantine and no on-arrival RT-PCR test is required. So for permitted travelers coming from the green list, this is your two options. First is you have to have a negative RT-PCR test. You will not have to undergo quarantine anymore you go straight home and just do self-monitor up to the 14th day from the date of arrival the second option is you do a swab test upon arrival just in case you did not do an rt-pcr test before you left your country of origin main reasons are it's not free it's a lot more expensive so you can still fly to the Philippines and just do a swab test upon arrival. You will be released to go home after you have received your RT-PCR test result and it turns out negative. So please take note of those options if you are a permitted traveler, fully vaccinated coming from the green list countries. For fully vaccinated foreigners, a negative RT-PCR test shall be required taken within 72 hours prior to departure from the country of origin. Upon arrival, no facility-based quarantine and no on-arrival RT-PCR test will be further required, but the passenger is enjoined to self-monitor for any symptoms until the 14th day with the first day being the date of arrival. So these are foreign nationals with valid and existing visa of 9A, 13A, and SRRV. A negative RT-PCR test is also required as an option 72 hours prior to departure from your country of origin. With that, you will not have to undergo quarantine, no swab test upon arrival, you can go home straight and just do a self-monitoring up to 14th day from the date of arrival. But there are also permitted travelers who doesn't want to be vaccinated. Here are your new testing and quarantine protocols that will start tomorrow, November 22nd. For unvaccinated, partially vaccinated individuals whose vaccination status cannot be independently validated and those vaccinated but failed to comply with the above test before travel requirements 
facility-based quarantine until the release of negative RT-PCR test taken on the fifth day and self-monitor until the 14th day of arrival with the date of arrival being the first day. So to those unvaccinated, those partially vaccinated, partially vaccinated, you only got your first dose of the two doses COVID-19 vaccine. So this is your new testing and quarantine protocols. You have to undergo quarantine and you will be swabbed on the fifth day. And when your result comes in negative, you can go home and self-monitor up to 14th day from the date of arrival. All passengers, whether Filipinos or foreigners, merely transiting through a non-green list countries or territories or jurisdiction shall not be deemed as having come from or having been to said countries, territories, or jurisdictions if they stayed in the airport the whole time and were not cleared for entry into such countries, territories, and jurisdictions by its immigration authorities. So let me explain that. For example, you are coming from the green list countries. You're coming from American Samoa. And your layover is in Singapore. Singapore is on the yellow list countries. That will not affect your status being coming from the green list countries. If you are just merely transiting, that's not going to be a determining factor that you won't be allowed to enter the Philippines because of that in transit from the yellow list so don't worry if you have an in transit or you have a layover from any of the yellow list or the red list country and you are coming from the green list country you won't be considered as coming from the yellow or red list country as long as you stayed at the airport the whole time of your layover and that you did not have to go through an immigration clearance when you proceed to your next destination so please take note of that and what about those fully vaccinated parents traveling with minor kids coming from the green list country this is the new testing and quarantine protocol that has released by the iatf resolution 149-a that if you are traveling with a minor child or children what will be followed is the adults testing and quarantine protocol so for example you and your husband are traveling fully vaccinated but your minor child is coming with you unvaccinated so if you guys has done the negative rt-pcr test prior to departure 72 hours all of you are going straight home. So like I said, the testing and quarantine protocols of minors shall follow the testing and quarantine protocol of the parent or guardian traveling with them regardless of the minor's vaccination status and country of origin. So there you go, because before, if you are traveling with a minor child, even if you guys are fully vaccinated, you will be under the unvaccinated category for testing and quarantine protocols. But this will change starting tomorrow, November 22, that whatever the adults testing and quarantine protocol will be followed by the minor who is unvaccinated as long as you guys are traveling with them. And these are the new testing and quarantine protocols for permitted travelers to the Philippines coming from the green list countries, territories, and jurisdiction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and share this video with your friends and family because it will really help out our channel. And to those who are new to our channel, welcome. My name is Addie. We do travel updates, immigration updates, and any travel-related updates in the Philippines, in the U.S., and neighboring Asian countries. If you are interested in those, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will be notified on updates like this. And to our subscribers, thank you guys so much for always being there for us since day one. We really appreciate the trust and support. And to those who have just subscribed to our channel, we welcome you all to our family, the Eaton Squad. And thank you in advance for the trust and support you guys will be putting in in our channel. I hope to see you guys on our next travel update. 
stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone. Bye.